What's going on? So, this video is going to be me rebuilding a toilet, kind of. I'm only going to rebuild about half of it. What the deal is, is my neighbor came and got me because her toilet was making some noises. And I went and told her to go buy one of those rebuild kits. Go ahead and buy the big kit. Knowing that I'm only going to use about half of it and probably later on at some point I'm going to end up <clears throat> rebuilding the whole thing. So this video is just pretty much showing you what the noise is and how to rebuild like half the toilet. Um, to rebuild the whole toilet you got to take the whole tank off. So I didn't end up doing that as you see, you'll see in a minute. But um, went ahead and I normally don't record stuff like that but uh, I actually had the GoPro on my head already today. <laughs> Kind of like right now because i was putting one of the wi-fi doorbells on my house that i had gotten i was doing a little review video so figured let's uh let's go fix the toilet too so all right so the first thing you're gonna do obviously is gonna open up the tank lid put it somewhere you're not gonna step on it <clears throat> and i'm gonna go ahead and uh turn off the water you don't want to get like a big uh, beach towel to put it underneath the toilet there because you're going to make a big mess. And what I'm going to end up doing is just uh, getting as much water as the tank as you can because uh, ultimately you're going to spill whatever kind of water you have left in the tank on the floor. And uh, this happens to be just hand tight, uh, the water inlet. Sometimes they're on there pretty good, you're going to need a pair of channel locks, but this one was just hand tight. <coughs> just be prepared for uh, some water to hit the ground. And uh, there's the, uh, the new kit I'm using. It's just something you buy at Home Depot. That one actually comes with the whole uh, toilet tank rebuild kit. I'm only going to do half of it today. Basically, there's just a plastic uh, retainer that's holding the, uh, the flush thing <laughs> in the tank. You just loosen it and it should just thread right off. Again, just get ready for some water to fall out of the tank. Then you can just pull that sucker right out, and I just end up just throwing it in the bathtub because it's all wet. You're not going to reuse any of that. So with the new unit, there's going to be this rubber seal that you're going to need to install on the bottom of it. And uh, it is directional, so you're going to need to want to install it the correct way. Basically, the flatter, big side, you're going to put it against that big flat piece that's on the, uh, the flush unit.
Now, it is adjustable as far as the height goes. Uh, you can uh, turn it clockwise, it'll make it shorter, counterclockwise, will make it longer. Basically, you just want to make it the length um, as high as you can without it touching the top of the tank. So when you get it uh, kind of where you want it, you're just going to thread the uh, new plastic retainer back on it. And again, just do it as tight as you can, hand tight. You don't need to use tools on it. Surprisingly, the toilets really don't leak um, when you put them together hand tight. Just make sure it's nice and snug. Little double check, get it a little bit tighter. Then you just get your water line and just thread it right back on and tighten it up nice and tight. And again, you shouldn't need any tools to do any of this right here, unless yours is a. Uh, I've seen them where they are these little metal little fittings. You might need to use some tools on those. There comes a little hose, and on the, on that hose there's a little. I guess it's a. It's a. It's like a little limiter right there, and it basically just limits some of the water that goes through that hose. Um, I actually had to. Uh, I actually left the limiter on there and I actually uh, turned it on and it just kind of squeezes the hose a little bit and uh, basically it reduces the pressure of the water that comes out of the hose and uh, I needed to use it on this toilet because uh, the water was spraying out um, you could actually uh, spraying out with a lot of force you could actually hear it pretty good at it I didn't know if it was going to be like an issue or anything so I just kind of, uh, you just kind of turn the wheel and it kind of turns down the water pressure. It has like five settings, this one, so I got it on the first one, so it seemed to be good enough. So it has little clamps on the hoses and you just throw them on there and secure everything. Pretty simple, but it's not, not too hard to figure out. And then uh, I'm going to end up uh, turning the water back on and just testing it a whole bunch of times. Make sure that it's uh, not leaking and that the toilet's flushing. So it doesn't have an adjustment for the float there, and I do adjust it as high as it will go. So I want the water level to come up in the tank pretty much like it was before. 
the more water you have in the tank, the more water that the toilet will actually flush. So don't want to have any issues with not uh, flushing everything down the toilet. So I had pretty much adjusted all the way up. And again, tested a few more times, and that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it with the toilet video. Hope you uh, <laughs> enjoyed it. And uh, check out my channel. Normally I'm not working on toilets, I'm doing other things, so.